I think Mace and Shannon Sharp been getting into it. Mace, Shannon Sharp. I never knew they were beefing now. What the fuck? It says uh, Shannon Sharp and Ocho call out Mace on Nightcap for dissing um, Club Shay Shay. Okay. Let me see. Uh, what did Mace say about Shannon Sharp? Okay, so the other day I made a video. I'm going to see you in Indianapolis. Clip. Uh, there you go. See you in Indianapolis, all the shit you talking. I'll be at All-Star Weekend. I'll see you there. And Mike Epps said, that's my whole tale. This is verbatim what Mike yeah. Epps said. He said, you know, a bunch of people made jokes about you. And yeah, I'll be, I'll be an All-Star and I will see you. But I don't do no fighting shit and I do blank, 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 blank. Blank, <laughs> blank, 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 blank. Yeah. So if you want to <laughs> run down on me, it's fine. I have no problem with you, but there ain't going to be a bunch of fighting because... Shannon Sharp is mad diesel. Like, yeah. yo, my guy's <laughs> like, I'm going to be at that crib with niggas. You think you're going to run down and fuck me up? Cool. Since then, they both put out <laughs> statements saying that they're going to talk like men and be cool, so on and so forth. And it looks like they it's going to just be a talk between two. Which, by the way, they, they did take a picture together. Shannon Sharp Twitter. Shannon Sharp actually posted the picture of them together. And it was a picture picture of them like dapping each other up, basically saying, I stuck to my word. I told you whenever I like we were going to see each other. And it was he says, as promised, no video required, no audio required, just picture of proof. We are good. So they are good. But I guess uh, at, by the way, this is uh, it is what it is. Uh, their podcast. This is Mace and um, Cameron's podcast. They were talking about the topic. Grown men is not going to escalate any violence. But Mike Epps said yeah. that to Shannon Sharp, like, if you think I'm going to be fighting you. Yeah, that's a smart okay. decision. Yeah. Niggas is too grown to be wrestling. Y'all niggas doing all this curling. <laughs> listen, listen. Go ahead if you want. <laughs> go, go ahead if you want. Yeah, I see you doing your dips and all that stuff. Go ahead. I know you on set number eight. Go ahead, nigga. <laughs> now, I know Mason is funny. My, my point is, brother, Kanye and Shaq. He did 84 pull-ups. Nigga, go ahead if you want. <laughs> go ahead if you want. I dare you. <laughs> yeah, and you can't do things that you don't want to be known for. You need to add that to your statement. If you do sugary stuff, a person should be... A, a person observing you did something sugary is not is not judging you. It's just an observation. So that was Mace's take on the Shannon Sharp Mike Epps beef. And if I'm going to be honest, I think Mace was just making light of the situation. So apparently Shannon clapped back. Let's hear it. One thing about it, man, I don't know. How, I don't know how well people know or understand Mike Epps is the king out there in Indy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, 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 he bought he bought a lot of a lot of uh, uh, houses yeah. in his neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Listen, Mike, oh, yeah, Mike yeah. doing he that thing out there. Listen, boy, me and you would have been running. We, been, <laughs> I, I, can, I can see us now. <laughs> hey, hey, well, we might not have made it out of Indy, man. Going yeah, out yeah. there, that crazy. But shit no, I, I just, I just wanted to talk to him. And now yeah. everybody, Ocho, not everybody got something to say. But you notice what Ocho? Because yeah. here's the thing: if you think about it, Ocho, I'm coming up on four years of having Club Shay Shay. Yeah, yeah. Eventually. And it's all of a sudden. Yeah. Even everybody. I mean, there's a there's this pastor that we're uh uh that used to with that that I guess now he a gangster pastor. Oh. Uh all of a sudden talking about he oh, wants got, somebody to pull got, up. They got them. They got them out there now. Uh, uh, now all of a sudden, I mean he he gonna do so much. He need to sit his little roly poly ass down. But roly this is what poly. I do. This is what I this is what I'm saying. I after talking to my sister, and you know everybody knows I don't need to go into detail how next to my grandma, mm -hmm. I probably listen to her probably more than even my own mom. Right, because right. that's how close me and my sister are. And I gave her my word. I ain't finna beef with nobody else. I ain't finna beef with nobody else. Nah, uh, no. Wait, you can't do that. You can't You can't do that. Nah, now, Ocho, wait, I, wait, I think me, the thing is for me. Wait, stay with me Go real ahead. quick now. Now, again, I love what you and Mike did. But you putting us in a, in a, in a situation where now we've set a precedent where people can now take shots, can say what they want to say, and they can get away with it. Because now you promise, sis, you're not going to get any more beef. So anytime anybody says anything, 
they can get away with it. At some point, we're gonna have to stand your ground, like the Florida law. My we're my job. Our ground. No, my job for you is you remember that money that you brought out is to make sure you get three times that next year. Yeah, that's oh, my we job. Gonna, we gonna get that. We gonna get that's what I'm saying. We gonna get that's what I'm saying. Off. That's my job. My job is to make sure, and 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 I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize my brand, but my brand is my integrity. Everybody knows what I stand for. Right. I'm 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 a strong, proud black man. Right. But we gotta stand on business now. But don't 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 be coming with no bull jive. All that other stuff. And I see. But if you look at it, Ocho, I ain't gonna lie. I rock with Shannon Sharp. Well, Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp is, is 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 starting to come off like a hypocrite to me. Yo, Shannon Sharp, bro, you the male Wendy Williams right now, gang. Like, it's cool. Like, nigga, I gossip too. It's fine. Charlemagne gossip. Like, a lot of us just talk about rumors and shit. You were the sports guy that was breaking down numbers and talking about the play and the merit of how people performed on the field of entertainment in, in regards to sports. My nigga, you talking about Sweetie's getting her fucking car repo by, by Quavo now. Bro, you talking, bro, you, you're in the mud. You feel me? Once you're in the mud, you're going to have to let certain things kind of go off your shoulder because, trust me, I know it. When you start talking about people, people can't wait to talk about you, right? And, again, you open yourself up to that because the type of interviews that you're going viral for is basically... Like I, everybody keeps saying, Shannon Sharp has created the the, the 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 hot seat of truth. No, Shannon Sharp has finally gave gave a voice to the people who would normally be considered bitter. So they're coming up there and spilling tea. They're fucking dissing people. By the way, that's dope. But Shannon Sharp got to realize what party's playing into it. You get what I mean? So I didn't think when Mike Epps got some jokes off, hey, he could have like just brushed it off, and be like, man, Mike Epps lying like hell, man. And I'm not gay if he's truly not gay, right? I think he's 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 catching feelings about yeah I'm gonna run into like no 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 you got to know what you're doing you're in the gossip lane and I don't know what you guys think about what Shannon Sharp is doing but his show is the new Breakfast Club it's the new like again we we see these shows from time to time you're asking about hot topics do you get what I'm saying? Someone said what? Somebody say everybody's calling him gay because he's been hanging out with his gay stylist. Bruh, I don't know if he's gay, and I don't really necessarily care if he's gay. But I do think that there's he has some sensitive triggers. Like, the gay thing is sensitive for him, I could tell. Anytime somebody calls him, like, you know what I mean, Medea, like, he gets upset. If they call him gay, he gets upset. And maybe that's just something he's been dealing with where it just kind of bothers him. Or maybe he's just, like, He's so averse to that type of lifestyle that he probably like, man, don't play with me and try to put me into it. So I, I, I don't know if he's gay or not. You know what I mean? Like, uh, shit. Y'all think he's gay? Y'all think he's metrosexual? Somebody said, does Shannon got kids? Yeah, Shannon got kids. Shannon do got kids. Somebody said, act, act don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean I don't know what I'm talking about? Again, I, I'm, I'm literally saying that I think Shannon Sharp is catching feelings, bro. Like, again, you're in, bro, you're not doing sports talk no more. Don't you see what's going on right now? Bro, let's, and, and by the way, here's another thing, too. I think he was definitely trying to downplay Mace. Mace wasn't really even trying to say, yo, Mace wasn't even taking a shot at him. Mace was just saying, hey, yo, we, we all old at this point, so we don't care about niggas with muscles. Nobody wants to fight. Niggas want to shoot. That's what people are trying. That's what he was trying to say. He wasn't making fun of Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp kind of made it a little bit personal when he responded. I'm trying to say that number one, I think it is what it is has changed sports completely. I'm gonna give him some credit. Well, well, Mace and Cameron some credit, and I'm gonna give actually Gilbert Arenas a little bit of credit because these days when people are watching sports commentary, people don't only want X's and O's broken down no more. People want a little bit of bullshit now. Haven't you seen all these shows now? It's all about jokes and they kind of get into personal lives and a little bit of drama too. Think about all the popular shows, right? By the way, you have Stephen A. Smith who's doing basically. Yo, they okay. asking they asking Stephen A. Smith all type of question on his show. Stephen A. Smith show. Bro, he has a show and literally on his show, he's talking about anything. Like, he's talking about 
When it's time to dump a chick? When it's time to fuck? Like, he's talking about anything. You get what I mean? The point is this. Straight up sports commentary and sports conversational shows? Bro, unless, like, you have a, 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 a storied um, past in terms of, like, maybe first take or now undisputed... Bro, people want a lot more. They want niggas to be almost telling jokes. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna also add. I'm gonna also add all the smoke podcasts with with, with Matt Barnes. I gotta add. I think they help change it. All the smoke, Gilbert Arenas, what he's doing, and also it is what it is. They have changed sport commentary. People want jokes. People want like you know. What I mean, like shit. I ain't gonna lie. Watch. It was it was good watching. You know, uh, I, I Gilbert first did it when he used to be talking about some of the bitches they be fucking when they was on the road. And then I remember, like, um, Ocho Cinco said to to Shannon talking about, yo, we had some crazy trip. We're fucking... Like, again, they're not just only talking sports no more. I, I think it's just evolved. Am I lying about that? Am I lying? Somebody says uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith and Molly are dating. D. Smooth, he says he's not asking the questions... Um, they're just talking, bro. He knows why he, yo, he's bring yo, look at the pattern of people he's bringing on. He's bringing on a bunch of comedians who basically are want to, want to respond to each other. Like, bro, we're not stupid. The nigga's not Gandhi. You know what I mean? He's not even going into it. Like, obviously he, I think he does a good job interviewing. Like he's definitely trying to get some background and send third, but he knows people are coming to a show to air it out. Like, of course, like when Monique calls you, you know, she's coming to air it out. Right, that, that that's the new uh, um, that's the new image of the show. Somebody said even the Breakfast Club tried to me too, Shannon. What do you mean? What do you mean they tried to me too him? Now I'm gonna be honest with you. Here's the thing too. That's why I think you know I think all of this is fair game, right? Like you know sometimes I think sometimes yeah like not all y'all but some of y'all have like some a crazy interest in my personal life but i do think that shit if i talk about everybody else's life if y'all be like yo, ag, yo what's that going on in your personal life i think i should speak on it too it's fine bro it, like that's kind of like i feel like it's par for the course right like you know again stephen a smith notoriously he used to be in a lane where he says he don't discuss people's private affairs or he don't talk about people's business he talks about what you do on the court stephen a smith talk about everything now you know what i'm saying so again it just is what it is Somebody says, Unk is zesty and he know it. Is he gay? Oh, and by the way, here's the thing too. Shannon Sharp, people thinking you're gay or asking if you're gay, it's now par for the course. You're not just only talking about Dallas Cowboys. You're talking about women. You're talking about people's relationships at this point. Yeah, they want to know about you. Why are you 50 and you don't have a wife? Right? Now, to me, that's not a problem. I don't, I don't think, you know, shit, I don't really, I'm not into marriage like that at all. But, People feel like, I don't know why they think he's zesty. They think he got a little sugar in the tank. I don't know why, right? Um, I may, Perhaps you, you guys can tell me. Is it because he's well-dressed? Is it because he's well-dressed and buffed? Is, he, is it because he looks like he actually takes time to, you know, care about his physical appearance? Like, why, why do y'all think he's gay? Like, I've heard him lust over many women, right? You know, like, he's, he's talked about many women like he seemed like he would want to fuck the shit out of them. 